Chop worm feeder can be like absolutely deadly on the right day. It's normally on days where like it's either a bit harder or you're trying to target a specific species. So like if you want to catch some perch or maybe chub, tench even, all I do, just fish a small little cage, um, chop your worms up as you would normally, uh, and then I just put them in a 50-50 mix of peat and soil uh, that I've just finely sieved off. Um, just add that to your chop worm, not so it's like dead stodgy, but just so it holds in your feeder like that. And that'll go down, release really quickly, and when you've got a couple of, you know, dendrobinas on the end or like a big lobby or something like that, it's a great way of picking off like bigger fish from parts of the river that you can't reach with like either your pole or your rod and line. And float tactics, it's like a really good method to sort of like where I'm fishing there, I'm getting in a nice little hole that's like next to some willow trees. I'd, I'd never get there with my pole. Um, and it's just a great way of like exploiting another area of, of your peg um, in a different way when they necessarily, not, you're not really sort of, sort of trying to target them with like ground bait and worms and stuff because it just changes the dynamics of the peg again. You, you know, you're fishing for like bigger perch, chub, you know, those sort of fish respond really well to this method. It's a really, really good little, uh, good little way of uh, getting an extra few bites sometimes on a harder day.